folks they're working on a 95 Honda Magna and uh, as you can see someone has uh, definitely done a custom job to this sucker I am typically a favorite of uh, keeping them custom or sorry keeping them original but this is what we get to deal with on this bike so I went around checked everything on it and uh, get a quick look at those Jardine pipes that is one reason to have a bike like this but you know I'm not a fan of the big old bars there but it kind of goes with the whole uh, the whole thing here and we also have a, a Corbin seat that kind of matches the whole vibe the uh, Rhino lined parts are fine but yeah the tank has had custom work done to it. This thing only has 14, 790, 49 on the uh, clock there. So anyway, we'll look at this thing a little closer later. But today we are looking at why we don't have a brake light. We do have an actual rear light and it works but it does not light up when the brakes are applied so first thing you want to do follow the wires back and it looks like something crazy is going on here with all these wires i'll have to pull that off but first thing i needed to do was see trace these wires back through here and they actually run all the way back to here so the first thing we need to do is if uh, let's check this connection, the brake wire actually is the green and yellow. So all we're going to do is stick a test light in here with that connection and see if we're actually getting a signal from the brake controller when the brakes are applied. So I'm going to set that up here. Ugh. Got my test light from Harbor Freight going to run from the negative battery terminal here and then all we're going to do like I said stick our probe down in the connector make sure it connects gets a good connection with the metal and see if we're getting anything when uh, we apply the brake it'll light up let's turn the key on keys over here on now let's check it I don't think I'm getting a good connection oh there we go now we're making a connection okay so it's working with the pedal check it up top not working up top it does work on the pedal interesting interesting well I don't know why it's not up oh, there it is okay so it's working here all right we got it up here see uh, this is the handle <laughs> I don't think I'm in here very well all right well I did get it to work there we have it on the rear I'm gonna make sure I have a good connection here and uh, check it off camera all right, so now I'm getting a very good, consistent. That's the foot. Here's my handle. Getting a good, consistent response now. So I'm happy with that. Unfortunately, the real problem seems to be the rear brake light. It's not lighting up at all when I do it. But at least I know it's from from this spot right here, which 
is this just the cable that runs in here. So I need to pull all this apart and figure out why it's not making connection in here. So that's pretty simple. Not a real hard job. I'll show you what I find when I pull all that apart. Okay, well, that didn't take long. As I started messing with these wires, the connector basically just pulled right off. Uh, I don't know who tried to wire this up, but it obviously was not making a connection and may have even been frying itself. They look a little toasted. Or maybe somebody tried to heat them up to uh, seal them. I don't know. All I can say is it's time to wire them up correctly. So the red wire was acting as the brake light. So that's going to go with the green and it's going to go right like that. And uh, I'm not sure which one was acting as the ground. Probably the black. And I think, I think ground is green. I'm going to have to verify that. Really doesn't matter as long as you have them connected to uh, throw to flow power through. So your brake lights apparently are red because that wasn't that's what wasn't working, and I did notice that was connected to my brake light there. And uh, so as long as that's there, these two really don't matter which one goes where because they just have to make a connection and make a circuit. So I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, hook these up and make sure it works and then we should be able to what is this like <laughs> looks like some uh, weird fabric tape Ugh. yeah when some when people start cutting up bikes you never know what they're gonna do and you end up with stuff like this so there we go I'm going to make connections with these wires temporarily and then when I'm happy with it we will uh, connect them permanently okay I just twisted the wires together make sure they're not touching each other we're gonna turn the key back on and see what we got here I'm actually gonna set you back here See if uh, you can catch. Do you see it? Brake light, brake light. Okay. You see the brake light is on currently, so we're getting power. Now let's see if we get brake. I don't know. Can you see it? Brake light lighting up. I can see a reflection in my case. Let me see if I can see it with you. Here we go. See if I can reach up to the pedal. Ah. All right, there we go. Now let's go find the proper uh, proper wiring tools and get this set up. All right, show you here quick what I like to do. Use these uh, watertight heat shrink butt connectors. They come from Harbor Freight, but you can get them anywhere. I'm sure any hardware store will have them. Uh, put your one wire in this end, one wire in this end. There's a metal strip in the middle that makes your connection, and then you crimp them. And then you can use a heat gun and uh, melt them down on the ends so that creates a watertight seal. I will follow it up with some uh, electrical tape, some new electrical tape. But uh, yeah, just stick one end in here. Make sure it connects with the metal. Stick the other end in here and then crimp them down. Make sure that they're tight and they're not going to pull out. And then uh, I'm going to do the other two here and uh, we should be good to go. Okay, friends. So uh, I went ahead, used the heat gun on these uh, edges, but my heat gun gets so hot, I actually started melting it. So I'm going to follow it up. Everything still works. I started even melting this green wire. Isn't that crazy? So anyway, they are tight. I even gave them a tug to make sure they weren't coming out. All of them are working. The light's still working. I'm going to wrap electrical tape around these. You don't want this routed in a way that, you know what? I should have taken care of that before. Uh, it's going to get pinched or anything. 
So I don't really know where I want to put this. I should have put a protective covering over this before I connected them. But hindsight is 2020. So I guess I'll just make sure it's not going to sit anywhere. I'll have to retape it to the frame, make sure that everything's out of danger. <laughs> so anyway, I'll make sure it's probably zip tie it up here somewhere. It does have a little bit of tape there, but I think, I don't know what this is for. This might have had the wires in it before. What is that? I have no idea. Doesn't really need to be there, I guess. So anyway, I'm gonna zip tie these up out of the way, make sure everything's safe and protected. All right, guys, I gotta run in here just so you can hear the Jardine pipes. But uh, you can see I did my best. Hopefully this doesn't float around too much. Just kind of hanging out there. But I did zip tie the wires right here to the frame. And I wanted to show you the uh, battery here. This is not a promotion because I'm sponsored by nobody from nowhere. But uh, these Chrome Pro. I like these batteries because right on here they have a readout. Didn't stay on. charging system putting through at the moment so that's about right for uh, what my alternator should be doing and my stator so yeah if you rev it you can see it go up time to go see if this thing runs okay <laughs> 